Shalom everybody, hello. We are in Jerusalem and uh, now, right now we're standing uh, at the parliament building called the Knesset and we're standing on the first day of the Feast of Tabernacles or Sukkot as they call it here. Mm -hmm. and it's a seven day feast uh, that is celebrated. So uh, uh, standing now we we'll go down to the Temple Mount, Mount Zion. Uh, we'll be there, join the party, uh, so to say, uh, and that's why I have this kippa on, because uh, uh, if we go in that area with, by the western wall, all the men are uh, supposed to have one. But uh, the funny thing about this, this thing, that many think this is Jewish, is actually not Jewish. It's not in the Bible, yeah. uh, but it's a tradition that happened in the uh, diaspora, or when the Jews were scattered all around the world so mm -hmm. then they took some little here and there and also you know these hats and that that stuff is not really Jewish from the beginning but what is Jewish is the, the thing that is uh, on your pants you know the, you can see that mm -hmm. uh, hang down and the locks and the beard of course that's in the Bible but many other things uh, or some of the other things is tradition yes it's not or that they inherited from their where they were scattered. So, by the way, you, should you read today's scripture? Yes. From Leviticus, right? Yeah. Leviticus 23, yeah. for verse 33, it says, And the Lord spoke unto Moses, saying, Speak unto the children of Israel, say, saying, The fifteenth day of this seven month shall be the feast of tabernacle for seven days unto the Lord. On the first day shall be an holy convocation. Ye shall do no severe work therein. Seven days ye shall offer. Seven days you shall offer an offering made by fire unto the Lord. On the eighth day shall be a holy convocation unto the Lord. And ye shall offer an offering made by fire unto the Lord. It is a solemn assembly and ye shall do no severe work during. Amen. Yeah. So today is the Shabbat, the first day of this feast. So uh, not many people are working. Uh, and actually we're standing here by the road. Some are driving. But uh, yeah, some of them might be Jews who don't care so much about this. But the, the Orthodox or the, the one who really take it serious, they don't drive this day. They walk. Uh, to the Temple Mount and pray. Uh, so some of these cars driving might uh, they are either either Palestinian or Muslim uh, or they are secular Jews. But most people uh, uh, you see walking around here, they walking down to the Temple Mount to pray and to have a have the party, so to say, uh, with the Lord. So that's what we will do anyway. Uh, right now we will see you down there at the Temple Mount for more. Uh, updates on this Sukkot. Right, yes, uh, Brother Oscar have explained on mostly on the part of the uh, the Jewish uh, traditional and from the scripture what it says in the old covenant. That there is something we need to know about the new covenant when it concerns those who believe in Christ. Our Lord Jesus said to us that when He will raise his temple in the ground he will put this his temple in the ground and after three days the temple will be raised again the tabernacles will be raised again and in matthew 23 he was inside of the temple he addresses the temple talked to the jews that were in the temple and when he came out of the temple in matthew 24 his disciple asked him about the temple itself now we need to understand that he spoke when he was in the temple and they did not listen to him so he came out of the temple in matthew 24 and he spoke to the temple addressing the temple from outside so if you look at that pattern the lord god had addressed israel many years from outward and he spoke to them about coming to live inside of them through christ and it is written in the new testament that our body is the temple of the Holy Spirit. That's where the Lord comes and dwells. 
So this day, the Bible calls it in this Leviticus 23 that it is the Feast of Tabernacles. The Feast of Tabernacles. In another word, it's the Feast of our body. Means how did the Lord say to the Israelites in the Old Covenant? He said they should not do no severe work. So today, as a believer of Christ, as a Christian, what you should do in this full week is to open your heart to the Lord. Do not do any severe work. If you can fast, you can go for a fast, seeking the face of God, because the Lord dwells in you. You are the tabernacles of the Lord. You are the tabernacles of the Holy Spirit. So we are in this place declaring the word of the Lord in this special day of the Feast of the Lord. Now, before we end, I would like to say this. This is the Feast of the Lord. That's what the Bible says. In verse 37, it says, These are the Feast of the Lord. Leviticus 23, verse 37. He said, These are the Feast of the Lord. This is not the Feast of this particular people. This is not a Feast only for the Jewish people. It's the Feast of the Lord. So, but there is a way we can honor this Feast from wherever we are watching. We can use this week and do not do no severe work. Seek the face of God. May this world meet you well and may you be blessed. Shalom. Yes, somewhat yes. added that. Uh, and uh, uh, about the work, it's it's in the in the there you they on this day is is Shabbat, so yes. no work. And on the last day, yes. but uh, you they do some work in the week, mm -hmm. uh, but they still every time they they celebrate this yeah. in the in so but yes so to make yes. clear yes. but seeking the lord and doing now if you can do that that's yes. great <laughs> yes so if you can uh, not do any much more work, work. than seeking the, lord, the yes. lord this week that's great and it's also you know uh, uh, in the new testament like mm. jesus said mm. on this feast he was in the feast it's in john chapter 7 you can read the whole thing about what Jesus did yeah. and he said on the last day at the, it's a water ceremony he yes. says and this is about the body mm -hmm. the ones who uh, come to me and drink exactly. and he was speaking about the Holy Spirit mm -hmm. come to me and drink and I will give you uh, the living water coming out of your belly mm -hmm. so you will not thirst again mm -hmm. so this uh, is very speaking to what Aray just said about it's, uh, it's uh, in the new covenant it's about your body you are the temple but we also believe that temple in Jerusalem will be resurrected yes. and there is planning for that. We will check that out this week. So we, there will be a physical temple as well, but the spiritual temple of our bodies is the most important thing in the new covenant. Uh, and also one last thing, uh, it's also said in book of Zechariah chapter 14, you can read about the Feast of Tabernacles in the thousand year reign when Jesus come back that all the people, like I already said, it's a feast of the Lord, it's yes. not just for the Jews, it's for everybody. Yes. So, it, and it will be physically then that all the calendars of the world will, ha will have this feast in the, this Feast of Tabernacles. Because it says all the people should, that is left after the, you know, the Armageddon, all the battles and all the, the people who are left uh, all around the world, will come to this feast uh, in Jerusalem if they don't come there's a curse on them it's free they have the free will of course yes. but if they don't come there's a curse they will not have any water yes. or, or, or rain it says in book of Zechariah so you can that's read that true. so that's why this feast is uh, important to understand right now and to uh, take note of so but uh, we're not following the law like the Old Testament but yes. but it's we follow in the spirit and and the spirit is you know encouraged us in, in, was encouraging in us to be here i didn't actually plan to be here that's true and you didn't plan, but the yeah. spirit made us come here so uh this is the new covenant we live in and we're still here yeah. on the feast of Tabernacle. Oh the tabernacle. so anyway one last word yes uh, i believe the lord wants me to share about the significance of the tabernacle everything that the lord jesus did on the cross was just to get all these tabernacles to be saved, our soul to be saved, so that He can come and dwell in us. This is the ultimate goal and plan of the Heavenly Father through His Son. And by the Holy Spirit, our body is prepared so that He can come and live in us. So this feast is important like any of, of the other feasts. But you should know the relevance of this feast at this time. 
see you down yeah. there at uh, Mount Zion. Yeah. yeah. Shalom. Mm -hmm. Det är ett gott. Du, du och jag, han kan ta det.